Good morning and uh, welcome to worship wherever you are. If you're joining us right now on Sunday morning or uh, participating in worship later in the day or throughout the week, uh, it is good to be drawn together across time and space to worship God. Special happy Easter to our Orthodox siblings in Christ. Um, the mom of a couple of my, or a couple of kids who are friends with my kids, their mom is Orthodox, and so uh, it's neat to think about them celebrating this weekend, something we celebrated five weeks ago. Uh, it's just neat, the diversity within the body of Christ. So if you know anyone who's Orthodox, wish them a happy Easter, send them flowers and some chocolate, maybe. Uh, insofar as announcements here at Knox, the sympathy, love, and prayers of the congregation are extended to the family of Maxine Henry. She passed away peacefully at home on April 21st, and a celebration of her life will take place, but at a future time, uh, after the pandemic, actually, when the family feels they can gather together safely. So in the meantime, we hold you all in our prayers. Uh, VBS registration is available on Eventbrite now. The link is posted on our webpage. Just a reminder, it's the last week of July, so July 26th to the 30th, um, and it will be a virtual VBS again in case you were wondering about that. So make sure you go to knoxoakville.com and find out information about that and sign up. And if you want more information, you can always contact Monica. Now, speaking of our website, make sure you go there to check out our bulletin. I think we might still have the picture of it. Uh, no, just, uh, just Jesus pointing out a reminder to check out the bulletin at knoxoakville.com. Uh, so thank you, stained glass Jesus. Uh, so make sure you do that if you would like to have that either on your iPad or print it out so you know what's happening. Uh, and... Um, and just another way for you to engage in worship at Knox. Now we are looking for uh, some folks who are interested in getting involved in creative ways here at Knox. One of the things that we're exploring are um, virtual ushers. So you'll notice if you're on Facebook, there's a comment section. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a chat feature. Maybe you are like my mom and you turn that off because you find it distracting, that's okay. Maybe you're like me, and you love to get on there and interact with other people during worship. Uh, we're looking for people who might be interested in sort of ushering during that time, checking in with people, welcoming uh, folks, asking questions, keeping the conversation going. If that's something that is interesting to you, uh, I'm, I'm asking you to give me a call at the church or email me and have a conversation because we would love to have virtual ushers for the Facebook feed as well as the YouTube feed. We're also looking for people to host coffee hour virtually on Zoom. I don't know. This is where we're, welcome to the 21st century. Uh, so if that sounds interesting to you, please reach out because we would like to expand our online uh, presence that way. And then the other uh, creative piece that's come up recently is uh, we have a beautiful sign that faces onto Lakeshore and Dunn. And uh, it's pretty much the same thing every week. Join us online at 10 o'clock. If you're someone who would like to come in once a week or once a month and put something creative that gets the green light from Connie and I, uh, if you'd like to put something creative on our sign, we'd love to show you how to do that and make that ministry your own. So we're looking for someone or someones who would be interested in changing up our outdoor signage from time to time. I think that's it for me. We're going to go to our pastoral update from Lynn. I did have a piece in here about uh, praying for India right now, uh, but I just checked, and Lynn has that in her prayer as well, so we will join our prayers to hers. But do, body of Christ, do continue to pray for our siblings in India. It is not good what's happening over there uh, with COVID and many things. So if you could keep them in your prayers daily, that would be wonderful. 